Hello and welcome everybody. Happy Friday the 13th. It's September 13th today and I'm so grateful to be here with each and every one of you and have the honor to be on this Million Mom Movement Council with some really incredible women here today. We have Ashley Morales and Sherry Packard and Allison uh, Jade, and I am so grateful to get to work with these ladies and to present with you all today. The Million Mom Movement has been profound in my life because I actually was introduced to this community when I was four months postpartum with my youngest son, and I was overwhelmed and undernourished and was looking for a way to work from home. I had tried many other things in the past that didn't really work, and the reason they didn't work is I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have support, and I was just trying to figure it out, and the great thing about this this platform is that we have a ton of support, we have a system, we know what we're doing, and we can help you get there. And in this presentation, we really want to dive into trying to get over that burnout so that we can really thrive in our business. Because in any type of business that you're doing every single day, day in and day out, it can be really redundant. And at some point, you may find burnout, especially if you're doing the same redundant tasks over and over again. So we want to create fun, strategic ways to keep it interesting and fun. And in this community, we already, I feel like I get really um, inspired by everybody else in this community, what you're doing, all the things that you're sharing. And it really helps to keep me motivated and keep me moving forward. So let's dive right into this incredible topic. I'd love to hear from my council members. But first, let's see who would like to read the pledge. So if somebody would like to raise your hand, I would love to have somebody come on and read the pledge for us today. Let me know. All right, Marta, I see that your hand is raised. Let me go ahead and ask you to unmute and I will share my screen. Give me just one second. Please read the pledge for us. <clears throat> I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Million Mom Movement. Thank you so much for reading that. If you'd like to share a little bit about what this movement means to you, we'd love to hear from you. It's, it's a reminder of the strength that my great grandparents had and their parents had. It reminds me of the pioneer spirit and making options and choices that may be harder. And we have a plethora of foods out there that are nothing more than chemicals and empty calories. And making that choice and having the sovereign choice over that, I know that I'm setting a great example for my son and the people around me to make better choices. And that means it may be a hard road and it may be a difficult choice for some, but it is a choice that is available. It's not always easy, but it's a choice that's available. And that means a lot to me to be able to, you know, understand, you know, ingredients list should not be so long. It should be very minimal. So, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yes. With what we have here, we're definitely bringing it back to those original foods, how our grandparents and our parents had the opportunity to consume them, right? Nutrient dense foods that are, you know, full of the vitamins and minerals they're supposed to consume and not the over toxic burden that we now have on our store shelves. So thank you so much for sharing, you know, why this movement means so much to you. I think we can all align with much of what you said, you know, just really wanting to push this movement forward and help more people have access to this original standard of pure nutrient dense food. So 
going back to our topic with this business, um, you know, from the burnout to balance, really trying to break these addictive behaviors in our business. Addictive behaviors can be like overworking. Some of us might love doing this job so much or this work. It can't even call it a job because we're having so much fun, but we might do it so much that then we burn ourselves out. And so find a way to really time block and find the things that you need to be doing that are going to move your business forward that are not just overworking, but are, that are actually bringing you joy and celebrate your milestones. Every small milestone, whether you enrolled one ULT or three ULTs this week, celebrate the, the, the milestone that you helped one other person or multiple other people move the trajectory forward on their health. And of course, if you sign up a new business partner, then that's even another win and another, another celebration. Other ways that we can, um, find that we get burnt out is by micromanaging. I've found that a lot of times we get some success, right? We we reach consultant, we reach director, we reach executive, we start to build a team, we reach diamond, maybe even to green diamond or beyond. And now we have this beautiful team of other leaders that are developing under us. And something that sometimes happens is that we'll start to, we'll, we'll pivot from the recruiting to the micromanaging of helping our brand partners to build their team, which is something we want to do. We don't necessarily want to micromanage micromanage and we don't necessarily want to forget to keep recruiting ourselves. So it's important that we find that balance and that we don't just totally pivot to being a manager of our business, but that we continue to recruit and build our business while we also help our other leaders to develop their skills. So constantly chasing the next big idea, right? Like the next big thing, like stay focused on what you're doing right? So there's so many people in Perium, we're all doing incredible things in our business. And one team might be doing something slightly different than your team. But just if you have a strategy and you're working on something, keep working forward on that. Because it can actually, if you're constantly changing what you're doing, then it will confuse you, it will muddy the water. And if you just have one straight trajectory of what you're working on, what you're presenting, what you're talking about, then it really will help your audience to know what you're offering is. So this can mean niching it down, right? This can mean bringing it down to right now, a lot of us are talking about group transformations, right? It's September, we're going into the fall season, it's before the holidays, it's a great time for people to cleanse. Uh, statistically, a lot of people that I know in the health world will cleanse in the spring and the fall, um, even outside of Perium. And so it's a really great time to cleanse before the holidays. And something that we can all get on board with is really leading people into a 90 day transformation that will bring them all the way into the holidays and up to new year, which will really help set them up for healthy habits through these next few months, which is super exciting and awesome. So make sure that whatever strategy you're using and whatever you're sharing, that you're continually um, staying, keeping that ball rolling and not just, you know, seeing shiny balls and trying to like, you know, chase different things or different ideas um, all the time, right? Stay on one. If you want to share with a different niche of people, maybe after you do this group transformation, maybe you have a new niche. Like I know a lot of us right now are doing like breaking sugar addictions as opposed to just a generic group cleanse, right? So you can do the group transformation and still niche it to a certain um, demographic of people that you're trying to help, right? If you want to focus on weight loss or if you want to focus on athletes building muscle during this time or breaking sugar addictions, there's so many things that we can do within this bigger picture that can still niche it down and keep us focused on one in one direction so we don't get burnt out. So also, when you're constantly chasing the next big idea, um, you know, write these ideas down because in the future, you may want to implement some of these things with strategy, but I just don't want you implementing all of it at once, right? And confusing yourself and then burning yourself out. So by always chasing the next big idea, it can limit your growth as a business leader because you're constantly changing what's happening. So stay focused. Learn how to identify and break these patterns to foster healthier and more productive habits that support your long-term success. So really, it's just staying the course, doing what you know works, being coachable, coaching the people that you're coaching, right? Duplicating our system. 
Um, constant hustle culture can lead to burnout and inefficiency, right? So if we're constantly hustling and just trying to make it fit in, time blocking can really help. Having a certain time block that you're working in, a certain time block where you're sitting in the same spot, right? So if you have a certain area that you like to sit or that you like to pace while you're doing phone calls, then, you know, have that be the place that you are at a certain hour every single day doing those tasks because you're creating a habit for yourself. Yourself. And every time you sit down at that area or that you bring your computer to that area, it will be an automatic thing that now I'm now I'm putting on the hat that I'm reaching out or now I'm putting on the hat that I am coaching my team members. Right. So that can also be really helpful if you're not just working in an office all the time and you have spaces, different spaces that you like to work from. You could designate certain places for where you're going to watch corporate Zooms. Right. And you might designate a different place for where you're actually going to be doing work or making phone calls. So discover the practical strategies to escape the addictive drive for more and refocus on sustainable business growth. So as much as our business is built on the constant growth and we're constantly growing our business and meeting new people and inviting new people in, it is important to not get addicted to the, um, the redundancy of just like the reaching out and meeting a new person and then not following up, right? We have to follow it up. All We have to follow through. So if you have any certain um, of these behaviors that you see are true for you, like maybe take a note on it, right? Like, oh, I noticed that I'm really great at reaching out. I'm not the best at following up. Or I'm really shy for the initial reach out. But once I do the initial reach out, I'm great at following up and getting them enrolled, right? So just find where it is that maybe you're lacking a little bit of um, motivation or where things are getting a little bit stuck for you. And let's work on those things, okay? So um, are any of these addictive work habits holding you back, right? Some of these addictive work habits may hold you back, especially if you um, go into a management mode. So this actually happened to me. I'll share a little story. This happened to me. I, I worked really hard. I got, got to Diamond. A couple months later, I got to Green Diamond. And then I got into a little bit of a management mode, helping my downline team members to rank and helping their teams to grow. And I didn't enroll as much for a little while, right? I, I put a stop on my personal reach outs. And in that time, I saw drastic change in my business. And um, and I'll be totally honest with you, uh, one of the diamond legs that I had built decided she was going to go to college. And because she wanted a scholarship, she was going to just let her Purium business go. What did this do to my business? This, this totally shattered half of my business volume that I had coming in. And so I had to completely rebuild. And because I had been so focused on helping this person build their business and get to Diamond, then I had stopped recruiting as much as I had been. So when this person decided that they were going to college, I had to get back into that recruiting mode and that reaching out mode, following up mode. And it was a little bit challenging to get, get that ball rolling again. But mostly what was really challenging was knowing that that whole time I was supporting her and building her business, I could have still been recruiting and building my business and it wouldn't have affected my business as drastically as it did when it did. Okay. And I'm only sharing that because sometimes these things happen and I want to be honest with you guys, it is very frustrating when that happens. Right. And so I don't want that to happen to anybody. I don't want anybody to get into management mode and have, you know, and have any of your business um, disintegrate as a result if anybody decides to change the way that they're living or their business, um, the way that they're doing business. And so I think that this subject is really important for each and every one of us, especially as we're building a business and coaching others, that how can we continually stay inspired and not get burnt out in our business. And so with that, I would love to go ahead and just pass it over to Allison to share a little bit more with you. We'll pass it around round table to our council members. And then if anybody else has a story around this or a share, we would love to bring you in as well. So pass it over to you, Allison. Thank you so much, Naiva. What a perfect topic for right now, um, especially that a lot of us are running for diamond. Um, and so I know 
running for a rank can be uh, very overwhelming and it can lead to a lot of, um, you know, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and I just want everyone to, first of all, you know, it's good to have, there's a difference between urgency and desperation, right? Like when someone is desperate, it's going to repel. When we're urgent, things will get done, but it's all about how we manage our own, um, how we manage ourselves. And, uh, you know, we, I've gone through many different cycles in this business uh, over the past six years where I've definitely experienced a lot of the, you know, getting really kind of like what um, almost, I don't want to say too, I was so passionate when I, especially as I was healing myself, I was so passionate to share this, that I became obsessed and obsession is good. Obsession is good because we do, you know, success only comes when we're really obsessed with something, but you know, I would like talk everyone's ear off about it and push a lot of people away. Or I would be like posting 10 times a day, you know, kind of, and, and which is okay. And not a bad thing. We want to be getting exposure out there, but there's a balance, right? Because some people were like muting me and then they were like unfriending me because I'll, and then I asked, why are you unfriending me? And they're like, you're just like bombarding my, you know, my newsfeed. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you know, uh, got to get the message out there for those who are, but you know, we can't please everyone and, and not that we should ever try what we need to be in charge of is our own, like, what I say, it's like, it's our ikigai, you know, that's like, it has to be our passion. We have to find our why in this that drives us, that gets us excited every single morning uh, to wake up and to share it. And when we find ourselves not passionate and just kind of going through the motions, maybe falling into some of those addic addictive behaviors, you know, like I'm just going to do that post every day. And just like, you know, kind of the passion is out. It's not going to land the same. So it really has to come behind our messages behind our, our posts and, you know, even our pictures that we take, there really has to be a, uh, a why behind it, you know? And so tapping very deeply into that why is very important to keep us motivated and keep us focused on where we're going. Um, another thing I want to say, it's very important that we see where we're going. So, you know, because we could be spinning our wheels and we kind of don't like study the compensation plan, like look where you're going and what you need to get there. Because oftentimes actually when you know, it's, you know, if for me, especially someone with um, ADD, I get very overwhelmed and I'm a very big picture person, but if I don't see the steps I need to take right in front of me, I'll just burn out. I'll just get like overwhelmed. And then like, I, I get depleted because I'm just like, I don't even know, like I'm just spinning my wheels and it's not really going anywhere. So if you're very uh, focused on what you need to do for your goal, get very clear on that. This is a perfect time of the month, halfway through the month that you can look at what you need to achieve to hit diamond. And I love to break it down really simply. I mean, I just say, you just need to get three really happy customers who are so you know, who, who want to help two people each. And there's, you know, like, I just want to, so I was just focused on those three customers and, um, and that's it. And we don't need to maybe burn ourselves out thinking we need to find a hundred people to talk to. It's like, maybe you need to have more meaningful conversations with a few, less people instead of sending out a hundred messages and getting overwhelmed and not being able to follow up with those people because follow-up is, is very, very important. And actually being Friday today, I like to call my Fridays follow-up Fridays and go through my messages and tie in some of those loose ends. Just, you know, if there was, uh, you know, links I needed to send, you know, we get really overwhelmed where we just talk to all these people. We forget to sometimes send them the link for them to order. And so just to, you know, take a breath. Um, and really important, like number one, I, I, I think right now in my life in where we're going, because, you know, we've been at two star crown for two years now, over two years, every single month, I will tell you, I declare three star crown and I'm focused on it, but it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen so fast sometimes. So to keep me motivated and not discouraged. And yes, like Naiva was saying, I've had many situations where a whole leg will, you know, fall off and you feel like, oh my God, I poured years into like building that team. And um, so really what's most important is that we take care of ourselves. Okay. This is September. I like to say self-care September it reminds me that in September um, and we need to make this a habit going forward for as, you know, always in our business is 
we need to take care of ourselves. We are the only ones we can depend on. We are the only ones that, you know, we can control. And so really having that, you know, we're going to duplicate everything that we do. And so what I was seeing happen in my business and for my team members here, maybe they can, I don't know, uh, they can feel it, but, you know, I was doing so much. And what happens is when you're exerting so, so much and not taking care of yourself, well, that's going to duplicate. And so your teammates are going to, you know, not take care of themselves and let themselves also like, you know, we're in the health business here. We're in the, we're in the healing business. And I, I heard this quote once, not from someone in our business, but you can't sell the dream looking like a nightmare. <laughs> like you can't sell this lifestyle and not, you know, this is all about self-care. This lifestyle is about self-love. So number one thing I do every single day is I schedule off my self-care as it's my most important meeting of the day. I have my 90 minutes in the morning. And actually, if I don't do it, my day is like, I, I noticed a huge difference. So whatever that is for you, I know for, you know, Marty's doing Qigong and other people are doing, um, you know, it's like gym workouts and whatever it is that fills your cup. Okay, because if we're going to help other people, we need, we can't be pouring from an empty cup. So we need number one is to be making sure that we are well nourished, which we have amazing superfoods. Of course, we're surrounded with, you know, I flood myself every day. That's what keeps me, my cup so full, but also that we're moving our body. We're not just sitting down all day messaging and or, you know, just on our phones all day, because that's going to not be, you know, healthy for us. And so really important that you schedule off that time for yourself. You find that special time um, in your day to do something for yourself, to fill your cup. I promise it will, it's never, it's like our, our health is the best, biggest investment in all of this. And that's what duplicates. Another thing really quickly is also leveraging groups. So um, like Naiva saying too, a lot of us are doing a big group transformation. So what we can do to help us to not take on the world. I know some of us here are people who, you know, have a very uh, big heart and want to help everyone and do it alone. But we are so, it is so important that we encourage the leveraging of the support that we have in this community. So inviting people to our groups, and, you know, creating what we, we created our own transformation group so that, you know, we could help our team to leverage and leverage our efforts too, so that people can come in there and it's a community that's taking care of people so that we don't feel it's all on us. So that's what I wanted to share. I know uh, we're going to hear from the council member and then I'm going to call on uh, someone in our team soon. So thank you so much. Uh, back to you, Naiva. Thank you so much for everything that you shared. You're so knowledgeable and there's always so much that we get to learn from each other. And so that's why this subject is so important. I love hearing from everybody. And Sherry, I would love to hear your standpoint on this subject and a little bit. I know that you said you had a more holistic um, approach to it. So I'd love to hear what you have to share. Thank you, Naeva. I love all the tips so far. It's really great. I mean, even ourselves, right? We're running the council and we do these calls and I always walk away with that little tidbits of information and some extra tips. So I love, I love learning from you ladies as well. Um, on the holistic side, yeah, I mean, I think it's perfect place to to jump in here with that, seeing as though, Allison, you were just talking about self-care, right? That is such an important component uh, to business, especially the business that we're in, because exactly that. I mean, we've got to be the example, right? And one of the things that I always say is that myself as a holistic nutrition and health coach, yes, people will pay attention to what I have to say because I have the quote unquote knowledge behind me, but I've always said that personal experience is so much more powerful, your own story, right? Your own transformation, your own journey, uh, because that's not that's not going to be found in any textbook. This is, this is real. You know, this is tangible. You can speak to people. You, when you talk to people, you get to, you feel it's more than just what they're saying, right? We, on an energetic level, whether we are aware of it or not, we are always communicating. And so you can feel so much about a person and get to know them so much. And, and, and so to me, that's so much more powerful. And so in order to do that, we have to be um, practicing self-care ourselves. And that requires a lot of working smarter instead of harder, which is one of the things that I've had to adapt over the years. I've had to kind of switch my idea of what it meant to be productive uh, because I come from a place where the people around me who I saw being quote unquote successful 
were always working so hard. In fact, working themselves into like different diagnosis or burnout or uh, just weren't happy. They were successful, like on paper, or you, know, you look at them and you say, okay, they've built these businesses, they're doing these things, they're, you know, but they're not happy. Um, and so it's very important that we um, perhaps start shifting the mindset of working harder to working smarter. And that'll look a little different from person to person, but time management definitely plays a role in there. Learning how to really manage our time is going to be so impactful in terms of how productive we are. Um, and then just more on the, the self-care aspect of it that comes into play. Um, I like to a lot about 20% of my day to personal development, to um, connecting within to self-care. And again, that'll look different from person to person. You've got to see what resonates with you and what you want to incorporate into your day. Um, I remember I was talking to somebody about this not too long ago, actually it was a brand partner of mine. And she was like 20%. That seems like, like quite a large amount of the day to a lot to that when, you know, you're just getting started. She's like, I'm just getting started. Shouldn't I be on this like 24 seven, like all day long? I was like, no, because I actually think that you need time throughout your day where you can quiet your mind because then you can really hear your thoughts, right? You can hear your thoughts. You can, you can connect with your creativity. Um, and sometimes we're just on autopilot so much of the time that we're not hearing those, those sort of sacred messages that we have for ourselves, right? Because we always know, um, we know the best direction for ourselves. We know what the next best step is. We're, we're equipped with that information. We have it, but we're just so disconnected from that part of us that is willing to show us the way. And so I find that when I, when I allot about 20% of my day to um, quiet time, whatever that might look like, um, I'm a lot more productive. And I, and those are some of the times where the best ideas come to me. Um, and so for right now, for example, what that looks like for me, that 20% is every single morning I get up early and I choose a podcast and I pop it in my ears and I go for a walk. And I, I right now I'm doing 40 minute walk every single morning. I do the same route. So I'm not like thinking about any outside, you know, I just kind of at this point, I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now. So my feet just walk it, they know where I'm going. And so I can really focus within and I can listen in and I, you know, I get a lot of good ideas that way. Um, another thing that's really important is grounding. Um, and so I make time throughout my day in between uh, client sessions and between my Perium business, I go outside into my backyard and I make a point to be barefoot and ground for a couple of minutes. Um, it's so important on the health aspect for our circadian rhythm, which controls our sleep, regulates our sleep, which sleep, of course, is another important component to not burning out, right, and to not developing um, unhealthy habits around our business. Um, and, you know, most of the time that includes, you know, neglecting ourselves. So if we get a good night's sleep, we're not only, of course, going to be more productive because we're going to have a clearer mindset. We're going to have more energy sustainable throughout the day. Um, it just life flows better with proper sleep. Um, and so grounding helps with the circadian rhythm, which helps control our sleep, but it also helps in so many different ways, especially if we're in front of all of these screens all day long, that is affecting our energy levels, it's affecting our body and how our body communicates with itself and how clear or not clear your, your thought process is. And so getting outside, um, even if you perhaps can't ground throughout your day because you have another job and you can't really do that, then in the evenings or first thing in the morning, um, just a little bit of time every single day, five, 10 minutes is all you need. And it has huge benefits for your body and it'll have huge benefits in how productive you are and how much energy that you have. Um, what else did I want to make sure to touch on? Of course, Allison touched on that a little bit as well. Fueling with purpose, right? You want to eat, a, you want to fuel your brain throughout the day. You want to fuel your body. Um, we want to be energized. We want to think clearly. Well, there's no better way to do that than with the foods that we eat. And of course, we have these amazing superfoods. Um, there are days where quite literally, and I've said this before here, I just run solely on superfood. And in fact, most people who know me, they laugh and they'll say like, how are you not tired? Oh, right. right. You run on superfoods because it's just sort of what, you know, has come to be um, my saying. Um, but there is absolutely nothing that fuels me better and keeps me more energized and more focused. A lot of the time when we're busy and 
you know, we can become very disconnected within our, 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 our minds and our bodies, you know, we can kind of disconnect there. And so often like we'll reach for snacks and sometimes we're constantly snacking throughout the day or perhaps having these big meals in between work hours. Um, and we think that that's, you know, a good way to be fueling ourselves. But in fact, I would suggest here that less is more and quality over quantity, right? So we don't want to bombard our systems with too much either, because then our bodies are going to be working really hard to digest, especially if you then after eating, you sit at your desk or you're eating while sitting at your desk. Um, all of this can kind of contribute to a lot of brain fog and can make things just in general feel so much harder than they are. Um, and that's also how you'll experience that kind of afternoon crash if you've been kind of, you know, munching all day long and you haven't given your body and digestive system a break. So that's another reason why these superfoods are so amazing um, and such a great, it's so ironic in a sense that, or perfect perhaps is the better word that, you know, we have a superfood business and our superfoods are the very thing that can help fuel us the most. And I just wrote a quick list of a couple of the superfoods that can be incorporated here that can really help, first of all, prevent burnout, can help support your body, can help um, support your focus. So if you don't, if you don't already have these incorporated in your day to day, they might be a couple of them to try for, well, this month or the following month. So some of them would be revive it all, right? Of course, because it's really going to help you focus. Um, I love my revive it all. It's really helped me. I, I found at one point when life was very overwhelming and I had so much going on, which I mean, I still do today, but it varies up and down. Um, revive it all was a non-negotiable because it helped me not be so forgetful because when you have, when our, our plates are overflowing, uh, you're bound to drop a couple, you're, you're bound to forget a couple of things. Uh, we're only human and we need to remember that, right? We need to have that compassion for ourselves, but then we can also help kind of tip those scales in our favor by adding in the uh, specific superfoods with specific herbs that are going to help with that. So revive it all, be energetic, which I like to suggest people do once a season. So right now we're about to head into fall. It's a great time to add be energetic. It does exactly that. It helps with your energy levels, but so much more. Um, it really helps with adrenals. And so when we are stressed and we're not sleeping well, um, then we tend to stress out our, our adrenals. And so this is a really great way to counter that and rebalance your system in focus is another great one for people who perhaps, you know, sometimes we're all over the place with a million different ideas, don't know where to focus in and focus actually is fantastic. It's such a great little tincture you can add to just about anything or just take it directly. My kids take it directly. They love it. All the nourishing greens that we have, okay, all of them help contribute to focusing, to helping to nourish your brain um, and just really help your body be there for you because you need your body to keep up with all of the dreams and the goals that you have and, and all of, you know, I really, I do believe in there's a time to hustle, you know, in our business. And that was a great time leading up to diamond club to like really step up your hustle, but you want to make sure that your body can meet you there and can keep up with you. And so it's our responsibilities to ensure that we are fueling accordingly and nourishing our bodies accordingly. Um, a love meal is one that I absolutely love it. I have never in all my years as a holistic nutrition health coach come across a product more super packed with nutrients, incredible nutrients than the love meal. And it is exactly that it's a meal replacement. So you're on the go, you're busy. You don't want to stop to perhaps, you know, either go out and get something to eat, or in my case, my, my office is in my basement. So to go, out, I don't want to break my focus. I'm, you know, there's momentum going. So I don't want to go upstairs and make myself something to eat. A love meal is amazing. So incredibly nourishing for your body and your mind. Um, the super aminos, of course, a pop the cherry because it'll help with our sleep and then ionic elements. So ionic elements, a lot of time when we are stressed out, burnout, so often people who burn out, um, if their, their levels are tested, will find that they are de um, deficient in magnesium. So this is a great way to ensure that we're keeping our magnesium stores up while we are under pressure, while we're working super hard. Um, it's, and you know, it'll just, it's, it, it's a, it's a great way to just kind of ensure that we're doing all that we can from a core uh, foundational point of view, but then we can go out and we can do the things, you know, we can build our business and we can put the hours to it because we have that balance. So now I'm going to ask Ashley, do you, do you want to check in there? Ashley, thank you so much, Sherry. No problem. Such great information. All right. Well, I wanted to share that 
this, what we have, this community, this we won't, we don't want to take for granted because that is what can lead to burnout. In my experience, um, when we don't plug in to what we have here is a great way to lose your fire. If you're not staying close to the fire, you're definitely going to be cold somewhere out far away. So stay here. So I wanted to bring out a couple of things of why we said yes to this business model in particular, that Sometimes we forget we are feeling like, oh, I'm burnt out because I said yes to this business model, but that's not what it is. It's because we're neglecting all the things that were brought out so beautifully by Sherry and by Allison and by Naeva. Um, but what we can do for ourselves is remind ourselves why we said yes. So we have this beautiful community. We have this support that keeps us warm and this encouragement and keeps us that fire glowing because we're excited. We're excited when we're together and we remind each other why we said yes, why we want to share and why we're um, so happy to bring people into this environment because it's there's nothing, nothing like this. So that's one thing. The other thing is um, the flexible hours that we get to make ourselves. We have the ability to have a flexible schedule and create that. And we get to put in our schedule where we want to put it. So don't pack your schedule and burn yourself out. Use the fact that we have that schedule flexibility. We don't have to clock in. We don't have somebody answering to. We don't have someone micromanaging and looking over our shoulder. We get to stay and set our standards. Where are we going to show up? And that feeling of having that freedom. Um, who did I see on here? I think... Is it Randy Ann? I hope I'm saying that right. But she is outside. She has the flexibility with our schedule to be wherever you want to take this business. That's the flexibility that we said yes to. And that is something that when we do that, like Sherry brought out our grounding, that's going to change our vibration. So I think of it like this ripple effect that we're putting out. If we're putting out this horrible slow low vibration of like I'm so tired I hope someone says yes today I'm you know this is the the vibration we're putting out and and I'm sorry I saw somebody laughing so then we can instead do what, what raise that vibration and when we're putting that out that is what we're sending out what's going to come back to us this amazing attraction. It's magnetic. People are going to see that, feel that when we approach somebody, when we call them, when we show up in our lives on Instagram or, or Facebook, when we show up with that high vibration, we're drawing people in. And guess what? That's exciting to have people say, yes, I want to do that because of you. And there, it's exciting because you drew them there, not because you put your, you know, Oh, I always get this saying wrong, but your nose to the grind and like, you know, got after it. And um, that's not how it happened. It was because it was brought in by the energy you put out. So that comes from the excitement that we get to be flexible with our schedule and have that autonomy too, with being in control and being the one who says, yes, I want to do business today or no, today's my dime. I'm going to take to myself and rest. We get to have that. Um, another very important thing with changing that vibration, it's not going to happen on our own just by deciding we must do the personal development. So the personal development is going to be so key and everyone who is successful in this business, in other businesses, in any form of business, you're going to hear them say they do at minimum 30 minutes a day of personal development. Pick up a book, put in your AirPods of you're listening to an Audible book. We must be taking in this information because we are human. We are going to automatically go to, oh no, what if this goes wrong? Oh no, what if that goes wrong? So if we're constantly feeding ourselves this positive information, that's what's going to help us feel alive and not get burnt out. So um, that was something that I felt 
And I feel very passionately about that. I, I make sure I listen to something before when I wake up and before I go to bed. And in between, if I'm driving somewhere, my kids know um, they get a little bit of music time, but also they know it's mom's book time too. So we take turns. <laughs> and so that's the thing that keeps us plugged in and alive. And um, also I wanted to bring out something as a leader, make sure that you're recognizing and um, and giving the recognition that your team needs. So I've seen so many other companies that I've worked with, um, whether it's this business model or um, an actual clock in clock out job, you don't get the recognition and that in itself can lead to burnout because of the fact that you're waiting to hear this job well done or validation of some sort. And that's just because we're human and we don't need to always search for that. However, when we receive it, it's so refreshing, right? So when we are in that leadership mode, remember your team, shout them out, make sure that they are being um, acknowledged for what specific tasks they accomplish. And when you do that, then we have this, um, really it becomes like they get excited. They kind of want to shout you out too, because you've done something to, to inspire them. And it's like this whole little cycle, you know? So that is something that's super important and really cool because of the, in this, um, community that we're in, we're really great about that. So you don't take that for granted. When you get the recognition, take time to sit in that and acknowledge it for yourself too. And, and take that in because not acknowledging it and not sitting with it will also lead to burnout because you're not taking that time to acknowledge, Hey, I did something good. I did something awesome. I'm, I'm great at this. So when you get that um, thought process going, then you're able to continue and keep going. And then you're excited to do more. So, um, and then of course the incentives, I, I think of, um, how well we're compensated in this amazing, amazing company with Perium. And when you look at, um, different milestones that you achieve and especially as we're running towards diamond and how we are going to be rewarded so well that's something too that we can be excited about and when we receive it that's something that obviously is not going to feel that give us that feeling of being burnt out we're going to be charged right so when we take care of ourselves we're able to accomplish more which leads to achieving more which leads to earning more so just making sure that we remember why we said yes to this amazing business model in the first place. Amazing, Ashley. Thank you so much for bringing all that in and inspiring all of us. I love everything that everyone shared today. Um, so many great tips, tricks, products that we can incorporate, mindfulness, all the things, right? Edifying our team, celebrating our team for their successes. All of these things will help inspire each other right? We're all in this together. So if you, you know, we can keep our own fire lit by staying close to the fire, like what Ashley said, like come to these Zooms, stay close to the community, get on your team Zooms if your team has a Zoom. If they have a customer support Zoom, hop on it, bring your customers. If you don't have customers, hop on anyways so that you can learn the verbiage so that you can lead that call in the future, right? This is where we learn while we earn. It's an incredible business opportunity and the sky is the limit. And I'm so grateful to be on this path with each and every one of you. And I want to go ahead and pass it back to Allison because I know she has a guest here who is a business owner and somebody that can share some great insights about how to juggle multiple businesses without the burnout. Yes. And she's a mom of two and running her own business. And I, I, I would love to introduce my friend Kiev to share how she manages, you know, this, this topic that we're talking about. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. You you unmute. Unmute. There you go. <laughs> I couldn't unmute. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me on this call. Um, I'm always so honored to come speak on the Million Mom Movement. I think it's such an incredible call. So thank you for hosting it and for inviting me. Um, 
There have been so many great tips and pointers on this call, self-care being one, um, de delegating, building a team, managing a team, time management is a huge one, uh, right? And that's something that requires a lot of self-discipline, um, which self-discipline isn't something we're taught in schools, right? So this is something that you need to learn on your own. And a network marketing company like Perium is amazing to learn self-discipline and to learn time management, right? Because you're kind of, on, you're, you're on your own, but you're putting what you're learning into action, right? And so this is a great company to do that, to learn self-discipline and to learn time management. Um, we've talked about, you know, focusing on relationships and celebrating small wins, celebrating our team, celebrating people on our teams, of course, taking breaks, things like that. But I want to touch on something a little bit different. And that is, you know, somebody mentioned um, that we don't need to work hard. We need to work smart. And I, lo I love that saying. I, I always have. But I want to go a little further and just say, how about not working at all? And what I mean by that, I don't mean like sitting on your couch and doing nothing. Okay. But I vowed to myself, I think I was like 15, 16 years old. I was, you know, 20 years ago, um, I thought to myself that I would not work a day in my life. Like I said, I was like, I will never work a day in my life. And then there comes a point where you have to pay bills, <laughs> right? And you're like, oh my God, I have to work. <laughs> but I had vowed to myself that I would not work a day in my life. I'm 34 years old, guys. I have not worked a day in my life. And you know how? And you know why? Because everything I do is fun. That's how I don't burn out. It's the, it's the only way I don't burn out because I'm actually actively doing something for my business every single second of the day. People are wondering like, Kev, how do you do it all? Like, how do you do it? And I'm like, because I'm not like, I'm just having fun. So I own a jewelry business. I'm a jeweler. Okay. Every, I'm an artist and everything I do within that business is fun. And when I'm marketing my jewelry business and when I'm selling my jewelry and when I go into events to share my jewelry, guess what I'm doing? I'm striking up conversations with people and I'm connecting with people. And that to me is so much fun. And by doing that, what am I doing? I'm promoting my carrying business, right? So all of it is fun. So it's not even about working hard or working smart. It's just about working fun. <laughs> Have fun fun working whatever it is that you're doing have fun doing it we need to be learning right continuously learning whatever it is that you're doing in network marketing in life in parenting in owning a business and going to work whatever it is you're doing continue to learn and have fun learning have fun with the people that you're working with have fun with your upline your sideline your downlines have fun with the community have fun with social media test it out test the waters have fun being creative creating videos, creating visuals, um, have fun with your superfoods. How can you make them look pretty? You know, what kind of art can you do with your superfoods? What kind of art can you share on social media? What kind of art can you do and create with your friends and with your, with the people that you want to work with? And it doesn't have to be just with your downline and your si sideline and your upline and the Purium community. It can be with anyone that you meet. Go have fun with the people that you meet. That's how I don't, that's how, that's how I keep going. I just have fun. I really just have fun. So whatever your heart calls you to do, go do it and do it with people. And while you're doing it with people, you know, plant some seeds, bring your Purium juice, bring your super aminos. You like going to the gym, go to the gym, bring your power shake, bring your super aminos, bring your can't beat this. You like to go do yoga, right? Go to yoga. Bring your your water bottle that says Purim on it. Put, you know, take pictures. Do so just have fun with it. And that is the best way to not burn out. Thank you. That was such a mic drop, Kiev. Thank you so much. I think that was excellent. You know, just a reminder for all of us that. Yeah, we do not need to, it's all about not, I love that you said, it's, a, it's an extra on working smarter than harder. It's work, instead of working hard, hardly work is when you're loving what you do, you're attracting. 
people want that and we're living to attract and that's um you just great gave such beautiful mindset so thank you so much for that I agree. Yeah. Back to you, Naiva. Thank you. Absolutely. Amazing. I love that. You know, it's so true. If we love what we do, we never have to work a day in, in our lives. And I love that you made that vow so young and that you've been able to stay true to that through your artwork and then joining this community and just keeping that joy alive. And that is the most important thing. You know, I often talk to people about what is your passion, right? Think about it. What are you the most passionate about? And do the things that you're the most passionate about, right? And you're going to meet other people that have those same passions. Just like Kiev said, if you love to go do yoga or you love to go hiking or whatever you love to go do, go do those things. You're going to meet people. Like every time I go into the canyon here on Kauai and go for a hike with my boys, I meet somebody almost every time and end up enrolling them eventually, right? I make I meet new people everywhere I go. Anytime I go on a hike, anytime I go to the park, anytime I go to the beach, anytime I go anywhere, you're going to meet people. Just be friendly. Talk to people. Ask them their name. I'm lucky. I live in Hawaii. There's lots of people on vacation here. It's easy to strike up a conversation. Hey, here, where are you here from? right? Everybody's here on vacation. Oh, how long have you been here? Oh, I grew up here. They're like, what? So, you know, but find ways to start conversations and have fun doing it. Meeting people is so fun and learning about people is so fun. And we are in the business of making friends. I once heard a mentor say, we are professional friend makers. So go out there and make more friends. That's what this business is about. It literally encourages us to get out of our own comfort zone, get out of our little bubble of our mundane everyday tasks and go out there and make friends that's what we literally have to go do right whether it's on social media or in person our job is to go out there and meet new people to share this opportunity with them and so this is just such an important thing it's really important I love all the self-care tips that were given today all the um you know products that were recommended today it's so important that we take care of ourselves. That is really the foundation of everything is putting ourselves first and taking the time because as much as we can feel like, oh, I got to put 12 hours a day into this so that I can get to diamond, that is going to get you burnt out by the end of this month and it's going to make it even harder. Take a couple hours a day, like Allison said, you know, take that time for self-care. It's the most important time of your day. Get that mindset piece in, get that exercise piece in, get that grounding piece in or go lay in the sun or whatever, you know, get some fresh air, go for a hike, go meditate, do these things because really it's going to help you be that much more focused in the hours that you're working your business. You could work your hour, you could work 12 hour days or you could work three hour days and probably get the same amount of work done without the overwhelm, right? We all have busy lives. We all have a million things we're juggling, but we have to take care of ourselves. We often hear that saying, you can't pour from an empty cup, right? You have to have your glass at least half full so that you can share, right? You got to fill up your own cup first. And so it's the most important thing is to fuel yourself, fuel your mind, fuel your body, fuel your your, your nutrition, right? Your energy, all those things. And then go out there and make new friends, connect with new people, reach out to new people, follow up with people, reach out to your customers or brand partners. It's that you'll be in so much better of a headspace when you've done something for yourself. I can speak from experience. I can definitely, there have been days where I work really hard because it's the end of the month and I'm trying to reach a goal. Or I'm trying to help somebody and we're working so hard. And then I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to take an hour to go to the beach and, you know, meditate and go for a walk. And I come back and I'm so much more focused and my mind is clear and I can actually do the things less overwhelmed and with a clear focus and intention. Whereas I could have stayed home that hour and just been stressed out that hour and not done any self-care. And where would that have led me? Right. I wouldn't have necessarily gotten more done, even though in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I can't go waste that hour at the beach. No, I'm not wasting that hour. I'm fueling myself. I'm giving back to myself. I'm filling my own cup so that I can continue to pour and share with others, right? So we still have a couple minutes. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Is there any last shares from the council before we close this call? 
Not for now. Awesome. Well, such amazing shares today. I really appreciate everyone coming on here and sharing and, you know, just such great knowledge. The replay will be on our um, Million Mom Movement official on Facebook here shortly. Let me just pull up my closing screen. So I'm so grateful for each and every one of you joining us today for our community action call here with the Million Mom Movement. And if this is your first call, please reach back out to the person who invited you here so you can become a part of our community. And we'd love to invite you to like, follow, and share so that you could be a part of what we're doing here. So please like our Facebook page, Million Mom Movement. Join our Facebook group, Million Mom Movement Official. That's where the replay is posted, as well as so many other tools and where you can become a part of our community. I encourage each and every one of you to please post in Million Mom Movement Official, share your stories in there, share your inspiration in there, and continue to inspire our community by being a part of the community there in that group. And then of course, follow us on Instagram, tag us on your stories and posts. We've got some hashtags here. You can tag us or use our hashtags. And then last but not least, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll have access to nearly 300 replays for over, from over the last few years. And of course, join us weekly for our community action every week on Friday. And next week, we have an incredible topic. Um, to really help everybody with their millionaire mindset and success unlocked. So if you really enjoyed this topic today, we want to invite you back next week to continue this conversation and really unlock that mindset piece and get you rocking to Diamond and Beyond. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here today. Have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you next week.